Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm going to do battle with an old adversary. He may not look like much back there, but this stump has kicked my butt on three separate occasions. Sometime last year, I decided to dig this out, it took me all day with the backhoe, dug a hole 15 foot diameter, 6 foot deep, finally got it broke loose, was ready to celebrate, and I couldn't lift it out. I know the lift capacity on my tractor quite well. It's about 1,500 pounds. And I set the loader right on top of this stump, down by ground level, hooked chains up around it, and tried to lift it out and back up. Couldn't lift it that way, so it clearly weighs more than 1,500 pounds. Thought, okay, no problem, I'll pull it out. Could not pull it out. Came back down, I tried to work dirt under it. I tried to cut the slope back a little bit. Tried again to pull it out, no luck. Yesterday I came down here with the winch because I've established that the winch can pull more than the tractor. I thought, all right, now I got it whooped. Hooked the winch up, broke a chain. Hooked the winch up again, and finally it ran until it started clicking and the winch couldn't pull it out. So today I'm gonna battle this thing again and I'm gonna win because of mechanical advantage. If you aren't familiar with the way snatch blocks work, if you rig them up properly, each one of these that you add essentially doubles your pulling capacity. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna rig that up and then hopefully it'll pull out in the first try. If not, we'll add a second snatch block and a third and whatever we need to do. But that stump is coming out of that hole today. Even though that doesn't look like that big of a stump, the root ball that I can't break up goes another five foot underground. It sucked a bunch of big rocks up inside that root ball and you're trying to lift out that whole mass of dirt, rocks, and the stump. So I've seen a bunch of videos demonstrating how to do this from a bunch of guys who look like they really know what they're doing. But sometimes they were hard for me to follow. So I'm gonna try to get this in detail. But the first step is just getting, I think they call it a dead man, getting something solid anchored to the tree with a lead off of it. I'll show you right here. I've got a piece of 3 8 diameter grade 70 chain that's rated for like 6,000 pounds. Technically we could exceed that, but that was the heaviest chain they had at the hardware store I went to. So that's hooked back to itself. It's kind of rooted around this tree up under some points where it can't pop off. And that will connect to our first snatch block right here. But before I hook this up, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the cable run and loop through here. So now I put this on free spin and just pull out enough slack to go around that pulley and back down to our anchor point. All right, so now we'll swing the snatch block open like this, put the cable through, swing it back closed. Now. We can go ahead and hook this up to our tree anchor. I'm gonna hook this up with the D-ring. Okay. Well, I thought I had everything I needed, but the D-rings I have will not go through this chain. So I'm gonna loop the chain through the snatch block and back to itself and then go ahead with the rest of the process. Now I need to pull this cable down to our anchor point. All right, so now I've got some tree saver straps. These go around the tree, and then you loop them onto your hook. This is a pretty good sized tree. Hopefully these are long enough. So my straps won't quite make it around, but I have a second strap, so I should still be able to make this work. So any kind of pulling process like this is only as strong as its weakest link. And it might seem like these straps could be the weakest link, but these are rated for 30,000 pounds. Whereas I've got some Adalink and carabiner things that I could use to fasten that chain onto the snatch block, but those are only rated for, you know, three, four, 500 pounds sometimes. I even got the heaviest ones that the hardware store had. Those are rated for 1,600 pounds. And they might work or they might not, but we're gonna be having a lot more than 1,600 pounds of pressure on this. Now we're anchored to the tree. May not be 
the best looking solution, but I think it'll do the job. And loop both of these through the hook. So what we've done to this point is pretty simple. To the snatch block, to the anchor point. And then the snatch block is hooked to the stump. So hopefully this is all it takes to get that pulled out. All right, so we'll pull the slack out of the winch first. Now, we'll put the dampener on. I really thought that was going to pull that out, but it didn't, so we're going to have to try a second snatch block. Previously, we terminated the line right here. Now I put a snatch block onto those straps, loop the cable through this end, and then stretch the cable back up to our first snatch block. That should double our pulling power. One more thing I'm gonna do before I start this pull is I'm gonna let the winch pull the tractor back. I'm gonna put the tractor in neutral, let it pull back, because shortening that run up should give us more pull too because the the smaller you get and the closer to the core of the winch the less power you have so the reason this is so hard to remove is there's about a hundred pounds of stump above ground and about two thousand pounds below ground level and the bank of the hole is really steep so it can't really slide up. Basically, geometry is not on my side. And I've seen some guys who wanted to pull stumps straight up, use a tire to roll the cable over, but I just don't think I could really have done something like that in this case. It still won't do it, primarily I think because of the way that's wedged into the hole. So we're going to try to get to a third point of, with a third snatch block, see if we can get her done. Alright, so now we come off the winch through a snatch block, down to the tree through a snatch block. Back up to the, the stump through another snatch block and back to the tractor. You'll see again here that I'm pulling outward when I need to find a way to pull upward. And this arrow is pointing out that the jagged pieces of the stump are digging into the dirt and acting like an anchor. It's a little bit disappointing that getting this mechanical advantage from the snatch blocks didn't make it just pull right out, but I tried this exact same process the day before without a camera, and I wasn't even getting much movement at all from this stump, so it definitely made a difference.
no amount of pulling out is going to get this out because I can't get hooked on the bottom and pull it up that way and hooking on the top or the middle is just pulling it into the bank instead of out of the bank. So I'm pretty determined to get this. I'm going to try pushing it over, cram stuff under it, push dirt or rocks under it and then pull it back and try to rock it out that way and then maybe go back to pulling it. We'll just see how it goes. I was trying to move some dirt and dig around this to make an easier path out and I don't have enough ballast so I'm going to run and put my weights on. Sometime during that last pull, the camera shut off, so I don't know how much you saw, but I kept pulling it, and then I'd back up and turn and pull it again, and I have it going in the direction I started. So I'm going to try to rig off to that tree again, now that the stump is further up out of the hole, and see if we can get it.